Hey guys, it's Dan here back with another video. And in this one, I want to talk about something interesting that happened with my battery capacity with my 16 inch MacBook Pro that I experienced over the last several weeks. And it's something that you may experience as well. And I want to talk about what to expect and how to fix this little issue. This all started a couple weeks back when I launched my favorite battery analyzing app, Coconut Battery. Uh, it's an app that shows you the capacity of the battery and the longevity and gives you stats on the battery so that you can keep in tabs on how the battery of your laptop is doing. Uh, I'll make sure to link it in the description down below if you want to know more. Also, what I'm going to be talking about applies for both Windows laptops as well as uh, MacBooks or Apple laptops because you know, batteries are, are batteries. So that's universal. Anyway, a little bit more about this laptop. This is a 2019 16 inch MacBook Pro that I've picked up on day one. So it's about a couple years old now. And I have over 300 charge cycles on this computer. Now these batteries are rated for over a thousand charge cycles. Uh, so it's neither a new computer nor is it completely old. So it's just your run of the mill, couple year old laptop. Uh, a couple weeks back, what I realized when I launched this app or the battery app is that the capacity on this battery dropped dramatically compared to a few weeks or a month before. And what I was looking at was about 71% battery capacity left on this machine. And what I mean by battery capacity, I'm not talking about the actual charge, but the capacity at full charge versus the original design capacity. So if the original design capacity was about 8,800 milliamp hours, uh, I was sitting at a low 6,200 milliamp hours versus about 7,600 milliamp hours just a couple weeks before. So I had nearly lost 15% battery life over the course of a week. So what's going on here? Well, this is actually something that happens pretty often, or it's not that uncommon for battery capacities to fluctuate a little bit. Uh, and it's not actually the battery capacity that's fluctuating, it's the sensor or the reading of what full is for the battery capacity. And for whatever reason, sometimes as you use the computer, uh, the computer gets confused and it really needs a recalibration of what zero or empty is and what full is. So this was the situation. It doesn't actually mean that the battery is defective or dying. It's just that it's out of calibration. So if you go into coconut battery and what I did was I, I took a look at the online historical data for my computer, you can see that the trending of course is down because as batteries get older, it gets less charge and whatnot. Uh, but you know, you can see that it dropped off dramatically and versus historical data of other laptops of this age, of this charge cycle, of this model, um, you can see that it deviates dramatically from that. So it should tell you that either something's wrong or, well, basically something's wrong. Uh, it could either be a hardware failure or a battery failure or, um, or that the calibration is wrong. So in order to fix this issue, the too long didn't watch this video version of this is just ignore it or go back to normal, everything's okay. Now, if you really do wanna correct this issue right now, you can manually reset what zero is and well, 100 is and make the computer relearn the battery capacity. And what you, how you do that is you can drain the battery all the way to zero and you can leave the computer off overnight uncharged on, you know, without plugged in and, you know, make sure that the battery is truly drained to zero. The next day, plug it in, charge it back to 100% without interruption with a good, powerful power adapter. And that way the computer will learn that this is zero and you know, this is 100%. And what you'll find in most cases is the capacity jumps right back up. And if you look at the historical data for my computer here, right around 280 charge cycles, I dropped down to that 71%. And as soon as I did that, the capacity came right back up. What can actually cause something like this? And in my experience, at least, I, I, I wanna attribute this calibration error 
was caused by an underpowered power adapter. So uh, I was using a dock that only had 60 watts of power delivery. And this laptop is relatively power hungry and I can pull up to 90 watts. And sometimes when connected to an external monitor, um, it gets really hot and it pulls a lot of power and it actually pulls more power than the power adapter or the charging dock can deliver. So what you'll see is that the, even though it's charging, the power or the battery will actually slowly decrease in capacity. And that's exactly what happened was uh, I was rendering some videos, I was doing some things, power very intensive with this laptop, and maybe over the course of several hours, the, the battery is fluctuating up and down. And as a result, it gets a little bit confused in the calibration because you know it's charging one moment and then it's discharging, charging one moment and it's discharging, even if it's connected to the power adapter. And I have found that maybe sometimes in this situation, the calibration gets thrown off. Again, you're not actually losing battery capacity uh, as you discharge the battery. It will see that it's got more charge and it'll keep on running and, and, and everything's fine. But the reading or the number of hours of battery life you have left may be fluctuating. You might be sitting at one or two percent or five percent for a very, very, very long time as it relearns. Oh, I actually got a little bit more in the tank. I got a little bit more in the tank, right? So, uh, it's it's really not that big of an issue. Now, in some cases, if you do actually have a defective battery, uh, you may experience something like you know you chart, you plug it in, it goes to a one hundred percent very quickly, or if you start de discharging at 100% and it goes down slowly and then you know 95, 90, and then uh, it goes, drops directly down to like 2%, then you may have a couple of dead cells and you really do need to replace the battery. If that's the case, then, then well, you just gotta replace the battery. But luckily in my case, it was just a calibration error. Anyway, hopefully this video was useful for you guys and you guys learned something. Uh, if you guys are having issues, you can comment down below and you know, hopefully we can discuss and see what's wrong with your batteries. Anyway, my name is Stan and I'll see you guys in the next one.